This is Atul Palandurkar. Today we are talking about Android ADT Bundle. Android ADT Bundle is something new for Android developers and Android trainers. I will suggest you to use Android ADT Bundle that is uh, if you are uh, new to Android. Many times students have asked me the steps to install Android development environment and every time we start a new batch or new training session we need to set up a Android application development environment from scratch and that was a tedious job because first of all we need to download JDK then Eclipse then edit a plugin then set the preferences for Eclipse for Android SDK path and at the last you have to download the latest platform tools and other required and optional tools but now Google has come up with the Android bundle, ADT bundle which provides everything you need to start developing Android applications the ADT bundle includes Eclipse plus ADT plugin which is already installed inside the Eclipse Android SDK tools Android platform tools latest Android platform and latest Android system image for emulator to set up the ADT bundle you need to follow simple two steps you just need to unzip the ADT bundle and just launch the Eclipse here's the link from where you can download the Android ADT bundle you can choose your platform and you can download the Android ADT bundle for convenience I have downloaded it and unzipped it just go through it here you will find three things one folder Eclipse SDK folder and SDK manager Eclipse folder has the Eclipse for you SDK folder will have all the Android SDK let's launch the Eclipse here you will see a new splash screen for Eclipse it will ask you for the workspace so just select the workspace and start go on exploring here is the new Eclipse for you so you can start writing your code you can just go on to files new Android application project just name the project hello world you can select the required SDK target and all if you want to create the custom launcher icon for your application you can create it now I'm not just say next I'll create a blank activity I'll keep the name as it is for main activity to main activity and say finish here goes your application the application is ready now you can launch it and run it do whatever you want thank you guys